you know, Romans 3, 23, all the sin and falling short of the glory of God, right? Yep. By the way, it doesn't say all about Mary, does it? No, <laughs> you're right. It okay. doesn't say except Mary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone, everyone has. Everyone needs a Savior. Mary even said she needed a Savior. Luke 1, 47. My Lord and my Savior. She did a sin offering. Uh, Acts, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Luke 1, what was it, 22 to 24? She took two turtle loves and two pigeons when they went in to uh, uh, circumcise Jesus on the eighth day. You go back to, I believe it's Exodus 12, uh, and it says one of those is a sin offering for the mother. And God set that up. Hmm. We didn't. God set it up. Mm -hmm. To show that she was a sinner, but you have to study the Bible to show yourself the proof, 2 Timothy 2, 2.15, to be able to find that stuff. And God, because I have a uh, new ministry to try to reason with Catholics, but you can't convert them, they don't want to be converted, <coughs> uh, to let them know what the Bible says, and then their argument is never with me, because I'm giving them scripture. Mm -hmm. And even though they try to fend it off and say, oh, that's your interpretation, how do you misinterpret this? God set it up. He said, one is a sin offering for the mother, and she gave the offering. So if she was not a sinner beforehand, she's just lied, therefore she is now a sinner. You have to say that real slow, <laughs> multiple times. Uh, Got to feel sorry for them. So close, and yet so far. It'll be easier to convert the people that are working in the abortion clinics than it will be the Catholics who are not really saved. They spend all they. They're so close, but everything is with Mary. Everything is with the with the uh, saints. Everything's with the Catholic Church. That's where the faith really is. Unfortunately, I like jump to the needle. The what? Camel, kind of like the camel jumping through the needle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. It's it's very yeah. It's very very difficult. Hang on. It's very difficult for them to see through. I you know I I've, I've asked them many times and 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 they, and they still and most of them won't do it. They just they, they just blow it off. They said, Have you ever taken the time to learn our side of the church so you can weigh something out? You only know one side. How do you know if it's right or wrong? until you learn something else and you know where to place it. Mm -hmm. And they say, we're the only church started by Jesus Christ, therefore we're right near wrong. How do they explain the 200 years that have been Roman political church? They, they say we, they're, they're, they're taught a lie. They, they say, we, we're, we go all the way back to Jesus. No, they don't. Hmm. You know, Acts 9-2, the first name of the church was the way. Yep. Later on, it was called Christian. It was a word of derision. Yep. Then you had the Imperial Catholic Church that started on Constantine in 312. Yeah. When 476, when the Roman Empire fell, <clears throat> you know, you had the, yeah, the Imperial Catholic Church until 476. And sometime after that is when the Roman Catholic Church yeah, actually started. Yeah, between 476 and 610. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 right some, some, well, yeah, sometime between 500 and, you know, some people go as high as 606 yeah. as to when the Dark Ages started. God said, you're now, you know, you're, you're now gone. You know, it's a spiritual Dark Ages. It was a physical. All right, and they don't, you know, the, the, they don't learn history, yeah. you know. And then the Catholic Church went back and made all the popes all the way back to Peter, okay. Mm -hmm. And they misinterpret the scriptures that relate to Peter being the head of the church when the Bible says Christ is the cornerstone, Christ is the rock, you know, uh, Second Corinthians, <laughs> yeah. uh, ten four, yeah. okay. Twice it says Jesus Christ is the rock. So when they, and they try to say Peter's a rock, the foundation of the church, and then in all the different times in the Old Testament, you've got 20 of them in the Old Testament, where God is referred to the, as a rock, symbolically, and they say, oh, well, that replace it. Then I give them the, then I give them the two. And show them, they said, you know, uh, you know uh, he's not the rock. And, and I will also tell, show them where they use that in, uh, was it uh, Matthew 16, uh, 18? I take them five verses farther, verse 23. Jesus said, you know, Peter has just got done saying, you're, you know, you're not going to, you know, he's told him they're going to die on the cross. He says, you're not going to die on the cross. I'm going to stop you. And he looked at him and he says, get thee behind me, Satan. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the rhetorical question you want to ask him is, would God turn his church over to sinful man who could be manipulated by Satan and his demons? And the answer is no. He keeps it for himself. We're bought with a price. Okay? He owns us. Um, 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 20 and 7, 24. Okay? We're bought with a price. He owns us. Yes, go ahead. Okay. We, we make statements about the Catholics. And evangelicals have some of the problems, and Pentecostals have some right. of the problems. And if, we're not, and if we're not careful, we can have the problems of being, of being uh, uh, legalistic and judgmental. We don't, we don't want to do that. Right. And, but I do know uh, Catholics who do not pray to Mary, who do not use the rosary. Yes. They don't make these... 
there are saved they, Catholics. Yeah. I, you know, and we, I've, I've said that. You yeah. know, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I work with, with one of them. Bob Lynch, okay. for example, <clears throat> he comes up. He does a rosary. He does. Uh -huh. I, many times I've seen him oh, do really? a rosary. Uh -huh. And then he walks up to me and, and calls me Father Dale. I said, don't do that. Uh, okay. Oh, my goodness. No, he does that joking. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pope Dale. But, but his Pope, Pope, Pope Dale. Pope Dale. <laughs> now, if I was, now, if I was Pope Dale, he might listen to it. <laughs> okay. um, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I would, I would hope that he's saved. You know, Pastor Sanders thinks he's saved. I'm not so sure. Okay? Because, I, you know, I asked the Holy Spirit, said, you know, what's a good way... You know, uh, to to understand whether or not to, uh, you know they're saved Catholic or not. A you know, rhetorical question that came back to me was, who's doing the rosary and who's not? So the ones that are not doing the rosary have a chance for salvation. Mm -hmm. The others that aren't, you know, they're they spend all their time with Mary. They don't spend it with God. Mm -hmm. And if you take that little yellow sheet that they're reading from and you read some of that stuff, it's blasphemy. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's uh, Catholics that don't even pray to Mary, and I contend that they're, they're not Catholic. Well, they're still going to yeah, they're still going to a Catholic church. Right. All right. Uh, uh, we would hope that they would come out. Uh, some people said yeah, you know, privately have said yes, I am not Catholic anymore, but I'm there witnessing the people yeah. about what the Bible really says, and hoping that I can bring some others out with me. Mm -hmm. So God uses everybody in some manner or another. Yeah. All right. Um, and this is that, that's a squishy middle. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't we we don't know for sure. We would we would love to know that our friends and relatives are really saved. I would love to know that the Catholics that come out to the clinic um, and do the rosary were really saved. Uh, we just got done with a you know having a you know they got into a heated discussion, uh, saying you have to do works to be saved. So I gave Ephesians two eight and nine on verse ten. Okay, you're saved unto good works. That's where I saw the church. Verse nine, you're not saved by works. Let's say man could boast. So I said, are you boasting about your works? Okay. Uh, you know, you got uh, uh, Titus three five. You got uh, uh, second, first or second Timothy one nine, I think it is, talking about not thy works. Uh, you know, um, you know, and I and so rhetorically, I, you know, I tried. You know, they 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 were so angry at that point in time, uh, misunderstanding James two. Uh, show me your <coughs> show me your faith without your works, and I'll show you my faith because of my works. See, you got to do works. No, it show everybody has faith in something. The, the atheists have faith that there is no God, but you show your faith in God by serving Him, by doing your good works. Okay? Yes? Yeah, when I was going to the Catholic Church not too long ago, I wasn't praying the rosary, I wasn't praying to Mary, and I wasn't praying to the saints, and I also wasn't going to confession, you know, and I guess people were asking me, well, how come you don't pray to Mary and the saints? I said, well, they're not God. I said, you that's know, right. they can't save right. me. Right. 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 Yes, see, see, and that's the Holy Spirit yeah. doing that. And God knows who He's going to save and who He's not. I would hope that when the rapture occurs, and we see it coming quickly, that it, that, that they're still around, because some of these people are, are, are pretty old. They've been doing this all their life, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and, you know, and then, and then the, you know, that, that when the rapture occurs, they would realize that all of us born-again Christians are gone, mm -hmm. and they're still here. There's something, they might get in their head, something is wrong, mm -hmm. because we're still here and they're gone. We've got to live through this stuff. <laughs> and they just disappeared. They didn't go through death. Oh, death, where's your sting? Mm -hmm. There, we're raptured. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which is another version to the, uh, another, another, uh, 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 another interpretation for the uh, uh, First Corinthians 15, 55. It just got done, saying we'll be changed and quickly die. Death, where's your sting? It's not there. We've been, we, we've been, we've been, uh, we, we've been raptured. Okay. Now, death is, death is getting out of our sin nature bodies. So that we all, so I sat, you know, you're satisfied that everybody has to die. We get out of our sin nature bodies. Go ahead. Okay, well, you said that, uh, you know, those that are raptured will not die. Well, they are die. They, they, they are. They have. They, they, they have because we are all getting out of our sin nature bodies. We're getting a glorified body which can't be killed, right. and there's no sin nature in it. So our bodies will pass away. Our physical well, bodies it, right they, now. they change. They yeah. change. We'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. So I'll be better time. looking when I get... Yeah. <laughs> and Pastor Sands will be able to sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will too. <coughs> see, see, at least I know I can't sing and I don't embarrass myself. <coughs> hey, it's good to get... <laughs> well, he was looking. He was looking. That's why I looked. That's why I looked. Oh. I've said this before. Okay. I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah. Of course, I got kicked off the radio program for four years. But... <laughs> Go ahead, Doug. Um, well, I mean... If they don't want to hear 
um, when it comes to the gospel, um, 1 Corinthians 14, 38 says, let them be ignorant. Let them be what? Let them, them be ignorant. Oh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, <clears throat> yo, to some extent, stop to realize, we're all ignorant. Yeah. Yo, none of us know everything in this book. Right. None of us has perfect doctrine. Right. All right. All right? Uh, the, the thing, is, though, is when you are involved in in-depth Bible studies like this one is, and we, and we take the time to go off on tangents and tie things together and show you how it relates to um, uh, what the world is doing today, what different denominations, you know, Catholics, unfortunately, make a great example, so you know, that's where we normally wind up going. But evangelicals, uh, they pick and choose. They have, they have women pastors, and they shouldn't be doing it. You know, uh, exactly. uh, 1 Timothy 3 says, you know, husband and one wife, and last I knew, lesbianism still isn't allowed. Okay? So, that's supposed to be a joke, you wouldn't laugh. I guess I said it too much. Reality. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, you, know, uh, you know, and Pentecostals, they're, they're, they're more concerned about their copy time. They're more concerned about the Holy Spirit than they are with Jesus, in a, lot of, in a lot of respects, or God the Father. Okay? So, you know, everybody has problems, but there's, there's a core... You know, do you believe in the, the, the core principles of the Bible that get you to heaven, and are you putting them at the top? You know, uh, uh, one God shows himself in three persons, uh, the virgin birth, the life, death, and resurrection, perfect life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Um, uh, you know, those are, those are part of the essentials. Do you put them at the top because everything will flow down from the top? Or do you put them down here and have your dogmas and traditions above them, and they don't match the Bible? Not one of the dogmas and traditions of the Catholic Church matches the Bible. And they say, well, you know, just because it's extra physical makes it all right. But then I start showing the verses that violate it. Because they don't take the time to study the Bible, the Catholic Church has said, we will read the Bible, we will tell you what it says, and then you just, all you have to do is follow it. Okay? Well, wrong. They're, when they stand before God, contrary to Catholic dogmas and traditions, of the saints they've been praying to, we're not going to be standing there with them saying, let them in. Okay? Uh, they're going to stand there alone because it's strictly between us and God. And all the things we did wrong, when he decides for us, you know, the beam of seed judgment, which looks like it occurs in Revelation 11, 12, which is halfway through the tribulation period, okay? Uh, not not uh, Revelation 4 and 5, like a lot of end time prophecy te teachers try to say, because we're just getting to heaven. And, you know, when you get to heaven, then you get your rewards. Well, it looks like it all happens at once. You know, and you and you have the and you have uh, Revelation eleven twelve, which tells you about us getting our rewards. But the other people, they're going to be the way thrown judgment. Yeah. Um, we don't want to see anybody there. Right. You know, we can't convert anybody. Everybody has their own right to choose. We can't stop them. Uh, ladies first. Many what? years ago, the Catholics were taught that if they believed in the Bible, they were sinners. And they, they were uh, did, 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 you didn't come out of a Catholic background, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, where, where did you, you know, I haven't, I, I, I've heard scuttlebutt to that, but I have not heard I've that per se. I've traveled with quite a few people who were from the Catholic and they, and they And they told you this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, most people, even evangelicals and Pentecostals, don't study the Bible. We have fundamentalists who don't study the Bible. When we're supposed to be the Bereans, like the Bereans. See, we go, we go all the back, way all the way back to Acts 17, verse 10 11. Like the Bereans, they study the scriptures daily. That's what we should be doing. Okay? Uh, God should always be on our mind. Okay? What you know, uh, when, you, when, you come, when you come to a fork in the road in your life, uh, uh, you, you should be asking which way you need to go, which is the right way. You know, you have a split personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, you know, we should, we should be asking them so that we stay on the right track. Now, you women have intuition that God gave, the Holy Spirit gives you, more so than us men, because you are the weaker sex physically, uh, and men are to be protecting you, but if you don't, you know, uh, if you're not around, the Holy Spirit becomes your, your, your temporary, you know, he's always your your quote-unquote spirit guide is the word likes to use. Uh, he lets you know that quicker than he lets us men know, know what, what, you know, what's, what's, which way to go so that you don't get yourselves in trouble. Now, when Christians don't listen, yes, they can get into trouble. All right? But the idea is to listen and see what he says. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, you better not do it. You don't feel comfortable going someplace, something bad's going to happen, and he's warning you. Okay? So you stay off the, you know, get on the right path, you don't get on the, on the wrong path. 
okay? For you guys. You're right, not mine. Okay? Um, so, uh, read the verse, commentary, finally, on the first half. Uh, defending uh, the defense on uh, behalf of the whole world, uh, part A. Um, having uh, changed the world, the whole world with, uh, uh, with uh, being under sin, uh, yeah, the whole world got changed when Adam sinned, not Eve, right? Right. Ate, Adam ate the forbidden fruit. We don't know that it's an apple. We really try to say it is. Um, God told him not to. He didn't tell Eve, so nothing happened when Eve ate the forbidden fruit. But then, like an idiot, he took it and ate it too. And then they both realized yep. they were naked and cursed. And, Big and, we, and, and we've all been paying for it ever since. Uh, so if they, if, you know, God knew they were they were going to fall. All right, uh, because he wanted a creation that actually chose him. Remember, the angels did not have a choice; they did not get to choose. Um, uh, in one sin, and they were gone. Right? Okay. Um, so he knew that was going to happen, and uh, uh, and so we, you know, he provided a path for us. He showed us a, you know, what the law was. Showed the Jews they couldn't, you know, Israelites they couldn't uh, live up to the law, the 613 laws there. Uh, and then he, uh, pro then he provided a savior, so that all we have to do is repent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now most of the law is ceremonial law, and we don't have to follow ceremonial that is so law. Self. All right. Then he got. That is then so he self. said we don't necessarily have to follow the dietary law either, uh, but it's always a good idea not to eat the things that are listed in uh, Leviticus 11 because they're not good for you as a whole. So all things in moderation, go ahead. Okay. Uh, you know, sorry, let's me know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're told that we don't have to follow the law. Uh, well, from the, from the Torah. No, wait, wait a minute, wait. The law still applies. It's the portions of the law that do or don't apply. We are to, the law still said, thou shalt not murder. Right. All right, we are to follow that. The law also said you sacrifice, uh, you know, an animal or a goat or, or do a uh, or do a uh, uh, you know a flower offering or whatever uh, for your sin. We don't do that. That's the ceremonial. That's part of the ceremonial law. Yeah, because okay. I know like Peter would go crazy if we were doing that. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying. No, is Peter. Peter got told. In, no, uh, not, not Peter. 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 Yeah. Oh, Peter. 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 Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Peter's uh, uh, people, people eating, 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 people tasty, eating animals. tasty animals. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, are, you, are, are you, you done? Are you done? I am done. I'm oh, okay. 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 This is my well, what about if you, um, if you think, okay, if you take a life, then I, mm -hmm. I believe your life ought to be taken. <coughs> well, that's what the law says. Okay, but is that what we to follow and we or did, not to follow? And we did. No, no. But it's up to the government to do it. It says, out of the mouths of two or three witnesses, everything will be established. We are not allowed to do that within ourselves. The government is responsible no, right, for doing that. Right, right. Okay? But, but the government's not doing it all Well, the time. yeah, because the government They're is no one... They're putting people in jail. Be, right. Well, you know what? If you kill somebody... Yes. There were, the government is wrong. We are to warn the wicked. Ezekiel 3, 18 and 19. Yes, I see that. The Ezekiel 3, 18 and 19 and, and uh, uh, 33, 8 and 9 says, warn the wicked. We are to warn them. We're not to take it within to, uh, in our own hands to do it ourselves. That's why we don't, that's why we don't, are not to bomb abortion clinics. That's why we're not to kill the abortionists ourselves. The government has made it legal. The government is responsible for doing it. We are not. We are just <coughs> the to government warn them. Be just. So it's okay. Well, so it's okay if somebody who is a murderer for the government just to go ahead and say, okay, you no, know, it is not a right. It is not a right. It is not a right. Depends, you know, if he's see, see, abortionists are mass murderers. They're serial killers. Right. Okay. Right. The people that work with them are accessory to both of those. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are to warn them that what they're doing is wrong. See, the ungodly are not necessarily going to have persecution in this life. Mm -hmm. Was it Psalm 73 4? Why do the wicked prosper? prosper. Yeah. Because this is the best heaven they're ever going to have. They're going to spend eternity in hell. Now, praise God, we live in the greatest country the world's ever known, and this is the worst hell that we have to experience. All right? And then we're going to heaven. That's why much is required, much, or much is given, much is required. We, we have been given a whole lot. We are the ones that are, that, that are to stand up and do something. But you will notice most of the church is doing nothing. The uh, uh, Matthew 9, 37, 38, Luke 10, 2. The fields ripe for harvest and the workers are few. We there, and it's getting fewer and fewer all the time. Go ahead, tap tap. All right, now <laughs> we have a situation where I, I was in an argument with an atheist the other day, and he says that be in a discussion on an argument. Yeah. Okay. And anyway, what happened was is the the subject came up of 
Christians defending themselves by the use of weaponry. And he says, well, what would Jesus... He said, he told Peter, get a, get a, get a, get a sword. sword. Right. right, but he also told Peter to put down the sword because... See, that's a... Yeah, well, be, by the sword, because of what... The sword. Well, no, well, he told him to take it down because he was using it at the wrong time to cut off uh, uh, okay. Malchus's ear. Yeah, okay. Oh. So, all right. because, I mean, you know, he brought up the situation down in the south where all those people were shot in that church. Yes. And I said that that pastor... Self-defense... Self-defense is is you know is biblical. Yeah. All right. You don't just yeah. sit there and let the ungodly kill you. Right? Exactly. Yo, okay. uh, yo. If if America put down all its arms, we would not be America very long. Somebody would come take us over. Right. We have the right and responsibility to defend ourselves. You know, self-defense yes. is yes. is also part of of the Old Testament law, which you're allowed to do. Now, you know, you're talking about an eye for an eye. You know, Leviticus uh, 21. Uh, 22 to 25, you know, uh, if you harm, if a baby dies, you know, from two men are fighting and a woman get, you gets involved and uh, uh, the baby dies from the involvement, then, uh, then, then that person's life is required. Now look how many babies we murder every year, and it's double whatever is posted, because they, you know, the tax tax implications. Uh, they only report half of it to pay taxes on. Yes, I see you. Um, <laughs> I have great. Uh, that uh, um, we all we can do is warn them, because the government has gone astray. Doesn't mean we necessarily follow. And 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 uh, right. King James and New King James are the only ones to get uh, you know uh, uh, Romans 13 correctly. There's no power but of God. All right. Um, you know, and we, if you have a godly government, that things work out right. Mm -hmm. We no longer have a godly government. When I was growing up back in the 1950s, uh, you know, murders murders were, were put on death row, and they were killed within. A, they they were allowed to, their appeals, but the appeals were quick. It didn't take 15, 20 years to do it like it does now. Uh, within two years, they had their appeals done, and they were they were gone. Also, ra rapists were were were, uh, were uh, executed. Also, yep. they don't rape again, do they? That's right. And the average, you know, uh, ten years ago, I heard that the uh, the average sentence for a rapist is only seven months. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so we see all these people in the Middle East that are being crucified. It's almost as if they're giving themselves up willingly. They, is it is it biblical that maybe they should be resisting with all of their efforts? If they have the ability to resist, yes. Okay, because they're like in okay. a society where weaponry is well, available everywhere. Well, they should be shooting at these people that are well, trying to kill them. Okay, right? they number of times they have been conquered. And and then they're killed because they have been conquered. All right. Yeah. They they have already resisted. Okay. I would. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Hopefully I can finish the uh, commentary in this uh, in the uh, next five minutes or so, so I can we can be done with the class this time. I didn't I didn't I didn't turn on my alarm this time. Uh, Paul now moves to the judicial procedure in the defense on behalf of the uh, world. He quickly uh, anticipates. The line of argument the Jews will uh, use uh, in uh, uh, in their defense. The Jews will uh, say that uh, Paul's description of mankind in the uh, preceding verses does not describe him, but the uh, but the heathen. So Paul makes it clear: "Quote, what things uh, soever the law says, uh, it says uh, to them who are under the law." So he, you know, right there, he's including them. So he, you know, because he was. He was um, a Pharisee of Pharisees, as he said. He sat under Gamaliel, the greatest teacher of the day of the Old Testament. And then Jesus came to him uh, on the road to Damascus in Acts chapter 9 and taught him for three years in Arabia directly. He knew, that, he knew how to link everything back and forth better than anybody else. Okay? That's why he, you know, the, uh, you know, most of the... Uh, most if not all, we, you know, we, we don't hear about the other apostles, uh, the other eleven, uh, going in, you know, moving around the moving around the world. At least not in the Bible. Now there's some history saying that they did do some moving, uh, uh, but Peter is the one that you know. I mean, Paul's the one that, that's in the Bible. He's the one that that did the uh, uh, did the uh, missionary journeys. All right, he's the one that was the missionary to the Gentiles. All right, praise God. That's why we're sitting here. All right. Uh, Using, using the word law as the uh, entry to the Old Testament scriptures, the apostle presses uh, that he was uh, in fact speaking of Jews as well as the heathens, for they had uh, received the uh, oracles of God and were bound by them. Um, 
the Jews had always had this, uh, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> lofty position of themselves, even when God was saying that they're a stiff-necked people. You know, something like 30 times in the Old, Old Testament, you have the term stiff-necked people, because they're always doing something wrong. You know, we got the real God. Not going to do whatever we want to do. We've got it covered. Well, it's not what the church is doing today. Nothing new under the sun. Um, ordinarily, uh, in a uh, civil court, the time of uh, defense is uh, usually given uh, to flowery speeches, um, insinuation, uh, discrediting of witnesses, um, uh, <coughs> muddling the uh, issue. Uh, but this will not be the case at uh, judgment bar of God. When you stand before God, there will be no defense for anything that, we, that he says we did. Okay? Praise God, we got a Savior, which is what I tell him at the clinic. You guys are on the wrong side of the ledger. <clears throat> you know, I'm a sinner just like you. I got a Savior, and you don't. And, uh, uh, you know, if I get more time, then I try to witness to them about how they can get that Savior. Okay? Uh, when the evidence against the uh, universal sinfulness uh, and guilt of man is uh, presented, and the opportunity of defense comes, there will be no defense. Uh, quote, that every mouth may be stopped. Unquote. Uh, we, you know, as I said, we're not going to have any defense. God, you're right. Yep, I did that. Okay, that's what, you know, all we can do is admit it. Um, and then, and then we admit it, and then he says, "Here's your rewards." <laughs> okay, uh, we don't deserve heaven, yet when we get there, God is going to give us rewards for what we did in this body. Okay, and we don't, you know, we should all be. That should all make all of us humble. When you don't deserve heaven, and then when, once you get there, God's going to give you rewards for whatever you did in this world. Um, you know, the parable of the talents. Uh, you know, we all have talents, skills, skills that God has given us to serve Him. The question is, how many are we using? Uh, hopefully you're not the one, but you're at least the two. <laughs> okay, because our first talent is our testimony to others. Remember the guy hit it and gave it back. He didn't have a testimony. Okay? He wasn't saved. One had two, got two more. One had five, got five more. And so he took the, talent, the, the scale and gave the person with one to the one that had the most. Mm -hmm. Not to the one that had the four. He gave it to the one that had the ten. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because he's going to always be using it. All right? Uh, that we, we, want, we want to be part of that. We want to continue to be uh, uh, serving God whichever way he calls us to serve and not say no and have the courage to get out there and do something. You know, gave you my uh, testimony the first time I went out to an abortion clinic. Uh, you know, and I listened to AM 1100, and they said, I forgot it was 75 or 150 um, uh, pro-lifers had just got uh, arrested for blocking the door <laughs> in front of a Birmingham clinic. And I was on my way to the clinic with the same group. Doing, they were doing the cities of refuge, six different cities. And they said, well, God, you're sending me out to get arrested on the first day? <laughs> so, you know... It's not easy taking the first step, uh, especially when you're trying to do it, when you're doing it by, basically by <coughs> You want to be doing, you know, hopefully you got somebody out there to, to help walk you through and let you know the ins and outs and whatever else. Uh, the mouth of the heathen uh, will, will be stopped. Uh, the mouth of the uh, moral man and religious man will be stopped. Uh, you know, you got everything in between. Even the uh, mouth of the uh, cursing and bitter man will be stopped. A silent world will uh, stand in judgment before the bar of God and... Uh, <coughs> And uh, neither uh, uh, cle uh, clever lawyer, plea bargain, uh, <coughs> bribery of the judge, nor uh, uh, impassioned appeal will uh, get the sinner off. Think of how the courts work today and make it a comparison as to how they're going to work in heaven. Okay? You either have heaven or you don't you either, because you have Jesus or you don't. Okay? Uh, you know, the, the old bumper sticker, uh, K-N-O-W, you know, N-O Jesus, N-O peace, K-N-O-W Jesus, K-N-O-W peace. We should be knowing peace. Um, the world does not have peace, and that's why they're so angry all the time. Um, the famous French infidel, um, and he names him, Rousseau, yeah, R R yeah. Jo oh, John claude Rousseau, something like that, uh, who refused to uh, marry and send uh, his his uh, illegitimate children to an orphanage explained, I will stand before God and defend my conduct. Bad news for him. Uh, no one will uh, utter a word in his defense. No one will have a defense uh, before a righteous God. Back to the Catholics, the saints are praying to, whether it be Mary, Michael the Archangel even, or you know, any of the other saints, uh, they are going to be standing with them. You know, I wonder, I wonder what, you know, another angle you can use with them is, uh, uh, you know, I think it was about 1965, 
uh, at Second Vatican. Uh, there were 2,000 saints, and they got rid of 700 of them. Okay? And uh, get back to 1,300. And uh, the Catholics, you know, Catholics were, oh, no, they didn't. You know, we have, you know, they have, a, and they're thinking to themselves, we have an infallible magisterium. They, they, they couldn't make that mistake. It's like, you know, if they're older like us, like me, <laughs> all of you are younger than me, of course, <laughs> in Grandma March, uh, <laughs> um, uh, the, you know, uh, they, uh, you know, I will, I will ask them, then where is your St. Christopher? It's not in your dashboard anymore. He was one of those saints that they got rid of. Mm -hmm. Okay? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just magically, they were gone about the time I graduated from high school. Okay? You know, I graduated in 65. They, they, were, they were magically gone. Okay? No longer on the dashboard. You could always tell who the Catholics were because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Did they, I know. Yeah. Did they explain any reason why they did that? Or? No. How did you know not to... Um, I just heard, you know, that uh, he's not a saint anymore, you know, don't even put him on your dashboard. Well, what yeah. did he do? He did, he, nobody knows what he did? <laughs> no, nobody knows what he did. Yeah. Well, is that who that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's why that's yeah. they have it. Now, now, now it is not, now it is not Christopher Columbus, it's another yeah. question. It's go <laughs> yes, go ahead, I see. Yes, the yeah. 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 Yes. My turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. I was going to ask. Uh, oh, I know what it is. It's uh, uh, the my aunt is in a uh, nursing home. It's a Catholic nursing home. Okay. And they are preparing them to pray to Saint Mother Teresa. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 She's going to be. Yeah. She's going to be made a saint yes. very shortly. Yeah. So is John Paul II. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to yes. be praying to them. Yes. Right. They're already so, getting them ready to pray. They're, they're coming yeah. up with prayers for us. Yeah. Well, like I, you know, I didn't finish the thought earlier about doing the rosary. They they tell us that we should be praying the rosary also, but then they say they're not praying no. to Mary. I say, wait a minute. You're doing ten Hail Marys to one Our Father for each one of the decades. You're doing at least five decades, and sometimes as many as fifteen of them. How are you not praying to Mary? Okay. And they zoom right over the top of their head. They you know, all we're, you know, they, they, you know but we're, if some will think about it, and say, well, we're praying to Mary. We're praying to God. And I say, well, you don't pray to God the Father. You only do one, one, one our Father, okay, uh, to every ten of the hands. You know, on your bumper stickers, it says, pray the rosary, okay? How are you not praying to Mary? You got the beads, it's all Mary, Mary this, Mary that, and Mary the next time. They spend all their time with everything but God. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, where did, where did the, um, those rosary beads? I mean, that started that, seven, se seventh or century BC. Yeah. It's paganism. It's yeah, it's, it started in the seventh eighth century BC. It is 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 paganism. Uh, the Muslims adopted it uh, around seven or you know uh, you know when they started you know seven eight hundred. So they did too. Eight, 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 eight. Yeah, yeah. They, they they have they have their own set of rosary beads. Yeah, they have beads. Okay. Oh, There's a smaller wow. set. It's a smaller set, and you don't have and you don't have a little bigger one every every tenth every eleventh one. Huh. No ten, and then yeah, to remind them to do the to the Lord's prayer. They they, they have their own set. Okay, mm -hmm. that they huh. use. And it, you, you're right. It, it is it is all paganism. And uh, uh, if they're praying to God, well, you know, Matthew 6, 7, don't pray to great repetition like the heathens. And that's exactly what they're doing. Okay? Uh, we, we, we have to do that. Of course, they'll say, well, Jesus prayed three times in the Garden of Gethsemane and now he died. I said, yeah, he's dead. Now he doesn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. But you're still doing it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, as a, as, a, as a simple answer that they can understand. God said, don't do it. And he didn't pray the same prayer. And, you know, but, uh, uh, you know, that's what they're doing. It's, it's vain repetition, the same thing going over. And only half of it's biblical. They mix a little Bible with a little non-Bible. <laughs> Hail Mary, biblical, full of grace. No. Okay, only Jesus. Mother of God. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, when I say, you know, mm. you know, you know, I think I went over that last week. Yeah, yeah. If, you know, and I'll ask him, uh, is, is Mary the mother of God the Father? Well, first I'll ask them, do you believe in one God or multiple gods? Oh, one God. Is Mary the mother of God the Father? No. And if so, Jesus is the mother, is the, if Mary's the mother of Jesus, and he's God, but she's not the mother of uh, God the Father, you are you either have a lie or you believe in multiple gods. Okay? You know, and 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 they and they and they don't want and they don't want to get it. Okay? I said, you know, for them for to understand, 
marries the mother's humanity, she's not the mother of his deity, because he was pre-existent. Read John 1, 1 to 1, 3. Face to face with God. Okay, got to finish the other section, and we're already, we're already five minutes over, eight minutes over. Uh, part B to this, uh, the verdict against the whole world. Well, yeah, okay. Um, uh, all the uh, remaining, all that remains is the uh, judicial uh, procedure. Uh, in the judicial procedure is the verdict. The charge has been made. The indictment has been read. No defense can be made for uh, there is uh, no supporting case uh, for uh, mankind. The verdict is now ready to be heard. Quote, all the world may become uh, guilty before God. Unquote. The verdict is guilty. The only thing uh, it can be. The word guilty means uh, to uh, come under judgment. It does not uh, presuppose uh, guilt, but uh, denotes that the state of a man who has uh, been uh, justly charged with a crime uh, is uh, both uh, legally responsible for it and worthy of blame. And that's what we're doing now. Thank you.